and then we should be moments away from the Kipco 1000 guineas. Ian Bartlett is the caller for the Phyllis Classic. Last one in. Enjoy this in the company of Ian Bartlett. That's it all in and set. They're off, racing for the Kipco 1000 guineas. Tahira not the best of them into stride. Matilda Peacock is one of the first runners to show. Queen Me is in a prominent position as well. Sweet Harmony and Morge are leading the group towards the stand side. Naomi Lapalia is up in a prominent position also as they begin to settle down two groups. But a yellow cap of Matilda Peacock is the clear leader, the group on the left. On the right is Sweet Harmony, Morge in all Royal Blue is not far behind her. Mama's girl and uh, with her is Olivia Moraldra, prominent position. And then uh, the yellow of Stenton Glider, not far behind the leaders as they begin their journey now, already down to halfway, with Matilda Peacock having the advantage to Naomi Lapalia and Queen Me. Lazoo's on that far side with Polly Pop there as well and Queen Me on the extreme right. Sweet Harmony and Morge leaving there to Mama's girl. Tahira, she'd be about... Uh, Eighth now making her run, Remarco's behind her, and then comes Dream of Love as they head then down past the bushes now. Tahira in the green, chasing Morge with the Mavis girl towards the right in the contention as well. Lazoo's not far behind on the far side of the course, and still Matilda Peacock with a little bit of a chance as well. Heading down into the dip now in blue, Morge in green, Tahira. This pair are clear in the Kipco 1000 Guinness. Behind them in third place is Matilda Peacock and it's Morge in the blue colours fighting on strongly. Tahira the green jacket but it's Morge just in front of Tahira. They're well clear from in third position Matilda Peacock and they're followed in by Carnarvon. What a fantastic duel for the Kipco 1000 Guineas between Morge and Tahira. Morge getting the better of Tahira and a win for Asheen Murphy on board for Saeed Bin Saroor, who of course trained Kazia uh, to win this race and go on to win the Oaks back in 2002. They are a yawning way clear of the third, who is Matilda Picotte, who's run a great race for Kieran Cotter and Ronan Whelan out towards the four in the early stages. And despite showing quite a fractious demeanour in the paddock, she really has run a corker for third place. And then there's a group of them bunched in the placings for... Fourth. fourth. Is it Carnarvon in fourth? It's hard to tell with the sun shining on our dusty monitor, but uh, we know what is involved. It is Carnarvon in fourth. So she's run really well for Jack Chan, his first runner in a classic, and Connor Beasley. It'll be interesting to see if the stewards take a look at this. I wouldn't be, mind seeing a head on. Nine to one, Morge is returned, and Asheen Murphy was talking about how delighted he was to have a winner at Newmarket. Well, he'll be absolutely delighted to have this 1,000 guineas success. His first. His first success, of course, he won the 2,000 guineas on Kamiko, and he rode High Royal to finish second in the race yesterday. Here's the head on. She's just edging right in the dip there and has just nudged to hear her across, but they're keeping relatively straight now. And just watch it to the line. There was no, they're they're coming close together. That's six of one and half a dozen mm. of the other. And then it's Tahira, who maybe is being insinuated right by Morge, but more hanging right herself in the closing stages. What do you think? I think if I back Morge, I'd be, well, I'd be a bit gutted if I lost that. I must admit, this Jersey inquiry, I don't think there's a lot in it. I was expecting more um, than that, I have to yeah, say, for the side Yeah, too right, yeah. It just looked as though Morge had carried Tahira further across. And Tahira, probably just that... That lack of experience has just cost her probably just a touch. She was slowly into stride um, and probably lack of a run and, and those noises that Dermot Weld was making that, you know, she was a couple of weeks behind. You just saw that in Chris Hayes' body language.